Today we are going to be looking at the master file, tab 1. You can access the patient's master file in Herford software via the shortcut button, master file, or the patient pull down, and choose master file. You can assign the ID number, or you can let the computer assign the ID number by entering 0, and it will find the next available new patient ID number. If you wish to set up the first ID number that you want it to start using, you can go to Customize, System Configuration, Current Patient ID Number, and let's say you wanted to use the year as the first two digits. Now, when you go to add a new patient, you would put in zero, add a new patient, and it would show 13 for 2013 and 1. By choosing the prefix, the software will automatically set the gender and marital status for females and the gender for males. The first name is always the legal first name. The address and if you enter the zip code it will automatically put the city in. If you have multiple people coming into your office as you add them you can access their address by clicking here choosing the person the correct address saying OK and it will automatically put the address phone number in there for you. By entering a cell phone number and the carrier, you would be set up for being able to send text messages to the patient for their appointment reminders. The same thing is true of entering an email address. Social Security number and license number are optional fields. Employment, optional as well. Student information and where they live are all optional fields. Of course, the doctor number is not optional. You want to put whatever doctor the patient is typically seeing. Mail, do you want them to have mail, yes or no? Or you can assign had a household or a family member. You can create mailing key codes if you wanted to have others, say for collections or billing purposes. The referral codes will allow you to see what promotions are working within your office. You can add as many referral codes as you like. You can do them for state fairs, um, screenings. When a patient refers someone, you can choose patient and then the patient's ID number can be put here and you can keep track of whom referred whom. The note field is just something for your own knowledge. It does not go anywhere. The screen message will put whatever you type up here on the screen every time that patient comes in and you use their ID number. The screen message, you can start, have a start date there. And if the patient has a nickname, you can enter the nickname there. You can also put in their first visit, their last visit, last x-ray, or if you have them sign HIPAA forms. Now the software will automatically assign the first visit as the very first day that you're entering that patient, and then it will keep track of when they were last in and when they were last x-rayed. When you save this, it automatically puts the nickname next to the patient's legal name, and this is where the screen message appears. If you have any questions regarding this first tab of the master file, please give us a call at 586-776-2880.